we're a little bit north of the North Sea. That's where we are. About 61 degrees, 20 minutes north. And we're trying to drill an oil well. The first time on an oil rig, I was lonely, I was cold. A hundred men, a lot of machines, like they were looking for gold. Worked that hole for 80 straight days Till the stuff came up like a flood I don't know when, I don't know how But a little drop got in my blood I live out here like a pioneer Away from the easy places I got no friends but the oil rig And these familiar faces No women, no wine working all the time but it's satisfying to me and if there's oil beneath my feet this is where i want to be we parked this uh big monster here and we set out eight anchors and we expect it to hold in waves that are 75 feet high winds that are over 120 miles an hour weather we've never faced before never had to think about facing before whether the ships go around well, uh, I've been doing it for 20 years. As far as my training is concerned, uh, I first went to work in drilling for old Poncho Flandrin, and I showed up in his office, and he asked me what I was doing there because there was a boat leaving in five minutes. So he sent me out to his rig and left me there for two weeks. That was my training program. Uh, we're flying in the west of Iran, up near the Iraqi border. Uh, in support of the mobile Impico uh, drilling operations here. When you're hauling loads, like we haul here, which run 50, 60 tons, you're running over roads that don't have any bottom at all. Uh, you have some real interesting things. You're even kind of scared to drive a passenger car over them, much less uh, a heavy truck with maybe 30 or 40 tons loaded on it. Now, last spring, with this clay soil we've got here, well, we lost a D8 cat to start with. Well, we didn't actually lose it. It sank down to about six foot of mud. I'd much rather be down in the valley myself, but it seemed like most of our locations are right on top of a darn mountain. In all kinds of weather, it's too cold, too hot, and too wet. Tired at times and hungry too, but I ain't never quit yet. I miss my family and my hometown, and I go there now and then. Pretty soon I get restless, I can't wait to get back again. We're always glad to go home. <laughs> it's, uh, but you really feel like you're just darn near lost when you go back to home. All the traffic and way it's directed. Anyone who thinks it's easy to get oil from uh, this part of the world should really come here and have a look and see how rugged the country is. We're roughly 300 miles from the North Pole. We're 100 or so miles from uh, Point Barrow to the east of Point Barrow. It is the last frontier, I guess, of the United States, an awful cold one. Right, uh, what, we're, we're drilling for oil right here on the north slope of Alaska. I work 12 hours, I'm off 12 hours, I hear the sound even when I'm sleeping. The bit keeps turning, going down and down like a giant heart keeps on beating. When you drill for days and you finally hit oil, that's what it's all about. Most times we don't find nothing, so we gotta move further out. People think you can just go out here and drill an oil well anywhere, but you got a, you got about uh, more than half of them dry holes. If we don't get oil here, we'll move to another location and try again. Well, we're on a seismic line which is going straight 
from the north of Sumatra, Achi country, for about 20 miles due east. And the first people that come along have to cut a line with a compass. They get a compass bearing and just go straight ahead with their parangs, knives, and cut through the jungle. We've got to go in a straight line because we're doing sort of echo sounding. We make big explosions and listen for the echoes. OK, send him tone. I'm from London, England, it's about seven, eight thousand miles away. I didn't really count too far because I shan't be back there for two years. Um, sounds a long time, but we work for 20 days out here, non-stop, seven days a week, 10, 12 hours a day, as long as the light lasts. And then we go into Singapore or somewhere in Southeast Asia for rest and recuperation. And you need it after that time. It's real difficult on a family life. Just, for instance, living here in Shawmod, uh, there's only one other English-speaking family here, which makes the two of us. And uh, you're either friends or you can forget it, right? Right. We kind of think of it as a job most of the time, but every once in a while, we start really thinking why we're out here. It's, a lot of it's for the money, a lot of it's for the excitement, a lot of it's for the challenge. But then again, a lot of it's for your kids, too. Once you go into it, it gets in your blood. I know of nobody that went into the oil business and stayed two years that has ever left it. It's still an art. It's fun. I, I don't know. There's a lot better jobs, but I wouldn't change with anybody. Live out here like a pioneer, away from the easy places. I got no friends but the oil rig and these familiar faces. No women, no wine, working all the time, but it's satisfying to me. If there's oil beneath my feet, this is where I want to be. You know, we're looking for oil. And, uh, Sometimes our geologists aren't right. They go away look in one spot, grill maybe eight, maybe 10,000 feet, 12,000. Depends on what they say. And if it's not there, we go looking someplace else. Drilling on a proven field, stuff like that, it, it, it gets boring after a while because you, you know from one day to the next what you're going to do. Out here, you don't know. Well, to find oil is, uh, is a real thrill. Once you have drilled a well, you, you cord it and test it, put it through the tester, and, and when, when it's all over, you look back, and you forget all of these problems that you've had, all the cold nights, all the anxieties, all the problems that you've had. Well, we've made a well. I live out here like a pioneer, away from the easy places. I got no friends but the oil rig and these familiar faces. No women, no wine, working all the time, but it's satisfying to me. If there's oil beneath my feet, this is where I want to be.